Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to create a pretty URL system with PHP and HT access. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. First, let us deal with the server settings. Open the Apache HTTP config file. Make sure that mod rewrite is enabled. Also allow override for your HTTP folder. Next, create a .ht access file in the HTTP folder. Here, we are going to borrow the rewrite settings from WordPress. To explain what this does quickly in English, we turn on the URL rewrite engine. but not override the HTTP auth requests. Set the base path. Change this accordingly if your project is not placed in the base URL. Do not override requests for index.php. Do not apply URL rewrite to existing files and folders. Lastly, redirect everything else to the index file. With everything redirected to index, we can now use PHP to load the requested files accordingly. In PHP, we can get the URL path in the server request URI variable. But take note that this also includes the query string. To strip the query string, we will use the parse URL function. Specify the URL path only. Next, we will deal with the base path. In this example, our base path is the root slash. Change this accordingly if your project is not placed in the root. Use the substring function to check and remove the base path. Lastly, explode the path into an array to better facilitate the URL handling. Once again, some people may add a trailing slash or two into the URL. To deal with that, we will use the rtrim function to clean it up. With the URL path in an array, we can now load the requested page. If the path is empty, we will load the main index page. For a single segment path, we will just use the segment as the file name.
For multiple segments, we will join them using a dash. Finally, to load the actual file itself. Create a page folder to keep all the HTML pages inside. Create the main index page. and a 404 not found page. Back in the PHP, define the full path to the pages folder. If the requested page exists, we will load it. Else, show the 404 error page. That covers the basics, all that's left is to create more pages as required. Take note that loading flat HTML files is not the only way to use the pretty URL system. For example, we can create an HTML template. Or if you prefer, we can also load content from the database. If you are building an e-commerce website, we can also use the path as the category and pagination.
Lastly, we can also do access checks based on the path. The possibilities are endless, and it is up to you to decide. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.